Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I essentially scale out blog or SEO content at the agency. This is within our SOPs. We kind of do this for competitor analysis, see what others are talking about on the page and also it is completely free. There are obviously chat GBT that you might need to pay for but with chat GBT 3.5 you can do, do a lot of this as well anyway. If you're looking to grow your organic SEO, make certain to check out the Traffic Accelerator system. The link is in the description. It is completely free. You will get a complete audit for your website and you can essentially see where you are lacking and where you should be focusing your time and efforts on as well. There are a couple case studies on the actual page as well, so make certain to check that out. The link is in the description. Now, back to the video. So, let's get into the video. Now, what typically I would like to do first prior to even writing any SEO content is obviously doing topical research and keyword research and finding out what articles our competitors have. But let's say for the purpose of this video, we are going to write an article on what is SEO, right? Let's say we don't have an article on that and we want to write an article on it. So typically speaking here, what I'm looking at is I'm analyzing websites that are similar to my website, right? So let's say, for example, we were going to build out a tool that was a competitor to SEMrush and Moz and stuff. What I would be looking to do here is finding websites that are in the same bucket as my website, right? So for example, MailChimp, you could... Um, argue that that is in, in a similar bucket. It's a SaaS product. Um, so again, I, I would be a SaaS. Wikipedia, I probably wouldn't. Um, and I'll tell you the reason why in just a second, but they are essentially um, slightly different style. Uh, Wikipedia just has pages on everything. So the reason why they are probably ranking is because they do have a lot of backlinks as well. So they do have a serious amount of domain authority. Um, so they're not always necessarily ranking because they have good content. But any one of these websites, so for example, Search Engine Land, I know for a fact that they are ranking because they produce really good content, right? What we're going to do, and the sh link to this sheet is in the description. So you can grab this sheet whenever you want. If you go over to column A2, you can paste in a URL and basically there is a script in every single column. So C or sorry, A3, B3 and also C3 as well. There's a script and you can essentially plug in as many competitors as you want, right? So I'm going to plug in Moz as well. And we will also plug in, we'll, we'll do SEMrush. Um, and we will wait. So we have got all of the subheadings. So let me just show you what this command does, right? If I zoom in here, as you can see, import A2, which is our URL column, um, H1s, H2s, H3, H4, H5, and H6. So we're essentially scraping all of these websites subheadings, um, and we're creating a master document right now. One thing you will typically find is that there are sometimes some irrelevant um, subheadings that it does pull in. And it also, in some cases, if you're pulling in multiple competitors, you might decide to pull in five competitors in this scenario, right? Uh, you might see that there are overlap as well. So then what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of our subheadings and we're going to go over to ChatGBT. Now, I have already put in a prompt here, but this is the prompt that I have used. Here are a list of my competitor subheadings for the keyword, what is SEO? Can you combine these subheadings and give me a list of headings I need to have on my page? Remove any duplicates and also remove any irrelevant subheadings. And we're going to hit go on this. Now, the reason why I have said remove any irrelevant subheadings is sometimes it pulls in stuff like the date. Um, sometimes website structures, they pull in like the offer as a subheading and stuff. So we just want to remove anything that is irrelevant. Now, what it has come back with is a pretty good structure, right? So what we're looking at here is introduction to SEO. One thing we can actually do is, can you structure these subheadings into H2, H3? H4 format. 
so this will essentially um, give us a little bit more insight, right? So I, as as I was saying before, right, the introduction up here is obviously a H2, and then we've obviously got um, subheadings underneath that, and it goes far as H freeze, right? So now if we duplicate, or sorry, if we just copy this over to our Google Docs, paste without, or actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it so it keeps the formatting. <clears throat> but then we're also going to go one step further as well, right? So obviously a key part to writing SEO optimized content is making sure that we have NLP optimized content. So now what we're also going to do is we're going to do an NLP extraction. Now, ChatGPT has a very good library, um, so it understands obviously what SEO is. We can essentially do a prompt like this. Now the prompt that I've used is, can you give me a list of NLP uh, keywords to include on this page? Now we're gonna hit enter, and typically it comes back with quite a boatload of keywords, right? Now, some of these will be obviously LSIs, um, and they'll, or they're also gonna be semantically relevant. Now the good thing about this is you can obviously just copy some of these over um, on to the page. Now, one thing I will say is that sometimes um, you do need to worry about the prioritization of where you place the keywords, right? So for example, we do have quite a few uh, questions down here and we do have questions further down on the page. Now, one step further, and this is going a little bit in advanced, right? If I was to fully write this article, and let's say one of these questions um, starts to get some serious amount of clicks, I might consider in two or three months time to actually remove that question from this page and create its own separate page. Essentially, you are expanding on the topic. So Google does like that when, when you're doing it and you're not playing hide and seek with your content at that point, right? So that's just another, um, sec it's just another thing to remember. Um, but, this has essentially done the job of a lot of SEO writing tools, so related keywords as well. Um, obviously, if we were to take a look at some of these articles here, right? If we were to take a look at Search Engine Land, I believe they do talk about EAT. Which article was it? Moz talks about EAT. I think they use dashes. EAT, right, there we go. So it has actually done a really good job of extracting um, the NLPs from its library. So that is one thing that ChatGBT is really good at, especially if you guys are trying to work on a tighter budget and you're trying to create SEO optimized articles. This is a really, really good starting point. Now, what you decide to do after um, creating this article is you can either you you can either give this article to a content writer and you can handwrite it. You can use tools like, for example, autoblogging um, to write your articles, and then you can essentially uh, human edit it after that, and then upload it through to your website. There's a variety of different things you could do here, so it's completely down to you guys what you decide to do. But this is just our strategy and at the agency of how we're essentially creating some some content briefs, how we're extracting subheadings, how we're extracting NLP without it costing an arm and a leg, because there are some tools that will do exactly what I've just shown you for a serious amount of money, um, especially this this scraping section. Um, there's there's tools that will charge you fifty, sixty, a hundred dollars just to do um, ten or fifteen pages of this. So this is a really good sheet. I'll uh, I'll include it in the description. So make sure to check it out. It's completely free. You don't need to buy any API keys. Nothing like that. It's ready to go. It will look something like this. And if you guys are looking to use this, what you'll just need to do is head over to file and then make a copy here. Um, so that's essentially how you make your own copy of this tool. And yeah, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the description, not in the description, in the comments. And if you guys do want a free 15 minute growth strategy call, make sure to check out casualdash.com. Thanks.